What's up and welcome back to Rumor Has It Official. Let's get straight into talking all about 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After. This is season six, episode nine, and the title of this episode is Not So Silent Partner. In this video, we're going to be talking all about Tiffany and Ronald, but before we do my besties, I need a big favor from you. Give this video a big thumbs up, share, subscribe, plus hit that bell so you will be notified on future uploads. And I do have my handy dandy phone here. I'm going to read from my notes so that I can stay on topic in regards to the points that I want to discuss with these two in this episode. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Tiffany is headed to the airport with the help of a friend. And this was the first time that we've seen Tiffany even have friends. Like we didn't even know she had friends because she's always either recording with her dad or her mom or the kids. That's it. Tiffany says at this point, she's so excited to see Ronald that she's forgetting all the bad things like the arguments and her going to see a divorce lawyer. I guess she forgot about the way he showed his behind at his mock interview too, huh? I guess so. Now, she's back to putting her blinders on. This is what I feel. She's back to putting these blinders on. Now, if Tiffany didn't get help with those tickets from Ronald and used her savings on getting a new place and furniture, I sure hope that she didn't go to her father for money to purchase those tickets. That thought did cross my mind. Maybe, I don't know, maybe TLC paid for it, who knows. Now, Tiffany says that she hasn't seen Ronald in 10 months and is ready to finally kiss him and for the kids to see him as well. Her friend says to Tiffany, what's going to happen if they go back into lockdown and you get stuck there? What are you going to do? Tiffany responds, I don't even want to think about it. I would lose it. Now, for someone who claims that they don't want to stay long in South Africa, you tell me why doesn't she know how long she will be staying in South Africa? Tiffany says that she bought an open-ended ticket and is going there to see if it is really worth staying with Ronald. Now, I'm not trying to be mean, but Ronald gives me psycho crazy vibes. Like the type that you want to run or I don't know. He gave me crazy vibes. His intro before the scene starts where they show him and what he's up to while they're on the plane on the way to South Africa. It just, it scared me. I'm just saying that's my thoughts. Now moving on, while Tiffany and the kids are on the airplane on their way there, they show us what Ronald is up to. Ronald decides that it's a good idea to straighten things up last minute. He thinks that it's a good idea to paint before his family arrives. So once they get there, they can all just inhale chemicals of the paint. They could just, yeah. Like, really? Great job, Ronald. Way to go. He has a friend helping him, okay, do all of these projects. And to me, he should have already been working on Daniel's room but decides to work on it the day before his arrival. Ronald's whole last minute motivation to make Daniel's room is based off the fact that he doesn't want Daniel to come there and then feel like he wants to go home. He thinks if he makes him this room and throws a couple of toys and some, a TV up in there and paints it, that Daniel is going to feel like that's home. And no, he's not gonna forget the people that are back home that he's attached to and connected to that he's known all his life his friends he's not going to forget that his family he's not going to forget that so i don't know what ronald is thinking i already don't like ronald but i really don't care for him in this episode because he had the nerve to say the only time frame that he will allow and i repeat allow them to go back is when their visas expire and when his visa gets approved Ronald says that if Tiffany doesn't want to move to South Africa, he will force her to. In the next scene, Tiffany and the kids have made it to South Africa. Daniel has me rolling every time when he screams, when he is excited, and it just makes me laugh. I really feel sad in the situation because Daniel is such a sweet little kid, but I'm not in favor of him calling Ronald dad because Ronald has not proven himself enough yet to get that honor that's just my opinion now he's not around and can't put into him like a father should a video call won't cut it 
Kids need their fathers present to put in time and build those relationships with, you know, to teach them things. He's just, Ronald can't be that for him. Video calling him. Once they get to Ronald's apartment, he shows Daniel his room and Daniel is very sweet. He's thankful, but he couldn't enjoy the room because Ronald thought it was a good idea to paint it the day before his arrival. He even, Ronald not thinking, cause he's just so dumb. He calls the baby into there. He's holding the baby in there. And that's not even good for her little immune system to be inhaling that fresh wet paint. Like he just doesn't have, I, I don't know. I don't know. But that's Tiffany's man. She chose him. But I thought this episode with these two was really like, I don't know. I just think that Tiffany should have got a ticket, knew when she was bringing her tail home, and let that be that. Nothing could shift it off that. That's your time frame. But two, maybe she was, I'm thinking maybe she did that because what if she wants to leave a lot sooner? So that's why maybe she did that. But you know, Ronald seems to have his own plans and thoughts and is already saying and trying to dictate what is going to happen. He says the only time frame he will allow them to leave is when they're until their visas expire or until he gets his visa approved and he's coming back with them. So it's like, you can even tell in the couch, I don't know, just this whole situation, to me, he's very controlling and while I get a partner, a healthy partnership within a marriage, these two don't have that. This is not that, this is not your typical relationship. So I feel like I'm not going to compare their relationship to a healthy, healthy one or to a normal one. Cause this, this, what they got going on is not normal. Um, not for the sake of distance, because you have a lot of people that do distance, you know, I mean, if you want to use maybe people who are in the military, they go off and they have jobs in the military. You know, in this case, you know, he lives in South Africa and she lives in the U.S. I really wouldn't be willing to bet because to me, I don't like the whole plotting and saying what somebody's going to do and what you're going to force them to do. No, that's not how a healthy partnership and marriage works. You communicate, you talk about it, you come to an agreement together. It's not you doing what you want to do. You telling me what I'm going to do. No, we're deciding things together because it doesn't affect just us. It affects those kids. It really affects more or less Daniel because he's a lot older. So I just really want to know your thoughts in that comment section down below about these two. Give this video a big thumbs up, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you will be notified on future uploads coming out this week. You all, if you turn on the post notifications that hit that bell and turn on those post notifications to select all updates for me and you still are not receiving your notifications, it's a YouTube thing. It's really out of my hands. The only thing I can suggest is if you all... Um, go ahead and just check back in with me weekly to see the uploads that I bring out because I will bring out weekly uploads. There will be a, a upload on my channel every week. Lately, how it's been going is you'll you'll probably get about five videos from me uh, this week and it's mostly Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I really appreciate each and every one of you for your continued support, for your patience, for coming on in and sharing your comments in that comment section down below. I enjoy reading all of your comments. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.